All right, guys, let's check out the, the Citizen Bullhead reissue. This is this one's an actual limited edition colorway. There are a few different colorways, and there's even one titanium model with a bracelet in a green dial. I would love to see that. If you have one, please reach out to me. I'll put my email down below. I would love to see that one. So uh, this is model number AV0078-04X. This is using the um, widely used, actually, in the Citizen lineup, the E210 chronograph eco drive quartz movement they're, they're this one at least if not all of them are actually hand assembled chronograph movements now the way they get the um chronograph bullhead design is basically that's your watch so i've had watches on here before that are the citizen e10 chronograph the chronograph pushers are here your three o'clock crowns there and then they have the crown at the um well, in this case, it would be like the 8 o'clock. It's usually over there somewhere, right? So that's all they did, is they just repositioned everything and made the dial and reset the hands and everything and made it. They can do whatever they want. Once the base movement is designed, you can configure it however you want uh, within its set parameters. And that's what they did with this. And I think it's a very cool design because now you can go with a larger case and it's still very comfortable because you don't have the crown and the crown guards on either your left or right hand side. So case size on this from here to here is 44 and a half millimeter, but it it is a big watch, but it doesn't wear like that. It wears very comfortable. Lug to lug. Now I only measured actually the solid case. This first link off here um, would you know be for a bracelet or in this case a strap, but I only measured from the case lug to lug is 47 and three quarter millimeter. Now you can see this has a pretty wild case construction because instead of like a, a traditional case back, you would see whether it's screw in or screwed down, it's usually confined to just that back plate. Well, this back plate is part of the actual watch and lugs. You can see it then it sandwiches the center part and then there's a uh, black part up here that actually the sapphire crystal gets pressed into. It's a single dome, as you can see the distortion there, but it is a sapphire crystal with AR coating. Um, the thickness on it, yeah, it's a thick guy. It's 14.9, so almost 15 millimeter thick. The weight on it is 138 grams. That's with this strap, so it has a little bit of weight to it as well. Nicely done strap, very heavy duty, tapers and actually thins out as it progresses down the strap. So it's very comfortable and then it's coupled with this nicely done butterfly clasp. Yeah, right. Butterfly clasps suck. But it still wears good. Once once I struggle to get it on wrist, it's fine. It's totally fine on wrist. Uh, it's just I don't like fiddling with them is all. Hey, we have a visitor. Check it out. We have a uh, ladybug back there. We'll see, we'll see what that does. We'll see how distracted you are if you're going to focus in on that ladybug or you're going to watch the watch. Which, uh, this is definitely a better orange than the orange that's on that ladybug. That is for sure. That is probably one of the best things, other than this is a bullhead design, um, is the orange dial on this thing. Check that out. That is a very nicely done, like, gloss burnt orange color. And then coupled with the orange... Chronograph hands, so you have your minute counter up here, you have your running seconds, and then this is actually going to be a 12-hour counter for the chronograph. You can see the chronograph hand is spinning. I do have the chronograph running. Um, that just starts it with this hand, or this pusher. You can stop it and reset it to flyback. So, actually, we can do that right now. So, I'll stop it. Actually, pressing on it, I actually push the alarm off, too. We'll talk about the alarm in a minute as well. And then the flyback. There you go. It just flies back and the seconds keeps running. Now, um, I do want to mention, I don't typically talk about all the settings on a watch, but I, I do want to set real quick the alarm. So if the, for the alarm, you pop this out and it, I'll put a link in the description to the website for this. And then you can click on the PDF file or the video and it explains on how to do all this. Um, but I will run through real quick. So you just pop that out. This is your alarm pusher crown or, or yeah, crown, whatever. And then you spin it clockwise and you'll see that hand up there almost looks like a GMT hand or something. That's your um, alarm hand. So, and we are what, 1120. So um, we're gonna set it. So we're gonna go to a 11 
ish you know we'll go to say like the first one would be like 1110 okay so right there we're at basically like 1110 so and then you go counterclockwise and then you pull it forward so there would be like 1120 and we'll set it for say 1130 ish and then you go ahead and push it in and then the alarm isn't super super precise it even says this in the manual it's going to be within three to five minutes of whatever you set it at. And it is very loud. So at the very, very end of the video, I will capture the alarm sounding. So if you stick around after the wrist shot and after the uh, loom shot, then at the very tail end, I'll do a quick audio of the alarm because we have it set right now. You can push this. You can see, you can see the off and the on there. If you push this in, you can switch it to off and on. And that's also how when it's alarming, if you want it to shut off, then you just push that in and it shuts it off. Your dates up here in between the one and two-ish area, you can see it's the sixth. Um, and then it just, it just works. I think it's a fun, very fun, very good looking watch. The retail on it is $8.95. It actually comes with a limited edition card verifying its actual number. This is number 1,863 of 1973. Hence, the year the bullhead came out, 1973. So this is um, like a heritage release or homage. So it's actually stamped on the case back there. And you get a good look at the case back, how it's done. There's four screws holding the entire back part of the watch on. So very cool done watch. So let's pop this on wrist and then we'll check the loom shot. And then, like I said, I'll close out with the alarm. It is a 200 meter watch, even though there's no screw down crowns or anything and this is where i struggle i know some of you guys are probably gonna like laugh at me with these um <laughs> butterfly clasp it, it just it doesn't I, i'm just not used to it i'm sure it'd be fine but there it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist i think it looks great it wears great i certainly do want to see that titanium one uh on bracelet i've heard Good and bad on the bracelets. I, I think a couple of people maybe griped about it. Um, my buddy Jack from Jack's EDC and watches or something like that. I forget his uh, channel. I'll put a link to his video. He actually had a blue colorway of this, and he did a good video on it. That was a stainless steel one with the uh, bracelet. So, uh, But I really love this orange. The orange looks so good. So big thanks to my buddy Clayton, who actually sent this in. Clayton has the Watchdog podcast. I'll put a link to his podcast in the description, too. Damn, man, that description is going to start filling up, isn't it? And where did our guest go? Did anybody follow where he went? I know I was blocking it. So I have to track that down and get rid of it. It's that time of year where those ladybugs like to try to come inside. So let's kill the lights. We'll check the loom. It's, there's not a whole lot of real estate for loom on this. Those hands are very thin, and the indices are very thin. You have that really nice, cool blue Citizen Loom. Uh, it's it's there. Once your eyes adjust to it, even though it's a thin, like, narrow application, um, there's plenty of it there. It's just you have to wait for your eyes to adjust a little bit. But there it is. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the alarm.